Hi toy fans! Today we're going to take a look at the My World Dairy Queen by Jack Pacific. I picked up this set from Toys R Us on a 40% off sale, but I believe the original retail price is around $15. At the end of this video, I will compare this My World set to other toy lines so you get an idea of the scale. Inside the box is a white floor, two walls with Dairy Queen decals already applied, a paper insert to cover the floor, a sheet of stickers. Now, I'm not going to apply most of these stickers, just in case I want to use pieces from this set for something other than a Dairy Queen. A white pillar, in case you want to stack another store on top of the Dairy Queen. Instructions. A blue counter that is hollowed out on the back side. A black and red booth seat. A table that you need to assemble. Wow, the, the leg of my table got bent in the box, so the whole table is really crooked. I may try to straighten this out with hot water when I get time. A paper sign advertising some of the shop specials. A red tray. A cash register monitor that you would need to apply a decal for the screen. A napkin dispenser. A cherry arctic rush drink. Two blizzards mustard and ketchup, two ice cream sundaes, two ice cream cones, a hot dog that is easily assembled, fries, boxes for the hot dogs and fries that are not so easily assembled. Now let's assemble the store. You start off by placing the wood looking piece of paper on top of the white plastic floor. The two walls snap into the base of the floor. The tops of the walls are secured together with a little L-shaped piece of plastic. The shop may look a little small, but there's room for the counter, the booth seat, and the table. And then you could place the little accessories wherever you like. This is a smaller My World set, so it does not come with a shopkeeper doll like the bigger sets. However, the shopkeepers are sold separately if you need one. Now let's see how this Dairy Queen set fits in with other toy lines. We'll start off with a 3 and 3 quarter inch action figure of Drax. I think Drax is a little on the small side for this set, but maybe he's really hungry and wants a large serving of ice cream. Drax actually doesn't look too bad in the booth. Let's try a 6 inch Marvel Legends Spider-Man. Spider-Man is too big for the booth, but some of the accessories, like the hot dog and the blizzard, look pretty good in his hands. We can't leave out My Little Pony's rarity. That girl works hard, and she deserves some ice cream too. The ice cream cones and sundaes are a bit smaller in scale, so I think they look pretty good with Tommy's Pokemon figures. Just don't try to take away Pikachu's ice cream, or you're gonna die. Just kidding kids, Pikachu's not gonna kill you. <laughs> The counter is a bit short for 6 inch action figures, but that's an easy fix. I made this riser out of a piece of insulation foam and paint for a previous project, and I think it brings up the counter to a better height. I think this set should have came with a second seat, and I wish the table sat straight, but those are my only complaints. I think the best part of these My World sets are all the awesome little accessories they come with. The accessories are really versatile and can be incorporated to your other toy lines as props. Overall, I'm glad I purchased this set. And that's all the toy fun for today. I'm not sure when my next video will be as I'm reorganizing my video schedule and culling the low performing scheduled content. I'm still going through data, but I'm really expecting that we'll end up with more crafting videos and Lego is going to be moved to random days instead of every other week. And I just want you to know. I really appreciate you watching.